What is up guys, this is the Pikachu here and I'm bringing you a Pokemon draft battle against Archizel. Really awesome guy, definitely check him out at the end of the battle, there's great content on his channel. So if you're not familiar with a Pokemon draft battle, I'll put the rules in the description below so please read that before actually watching the match. But here is the battle, he's going to lead off with an Espeon, choose to go for the light screen which does reveal he is a dual screener. And uh, I'm just going to set up the Tailwind to help support my team's speed for 4 turns. Now, I do want to lock him into that Light Screen, so that's why I'm going to go in, go for the Encore. Did not know that it fails because of the Magic Bounce ability. I did not know it was affected by that ability. So I kind of wasted the, that turn, but it's no big deal because I still am able to pull off that super effective U-turn and nearly take him out before he sets up that Reflect, and I am just going to Revenge Kill him with this Gliscor, and this is a Choice Banded Gliscor. I know I can outspeed due to the Tailwind, and uh, Choice Banded U-Turn is easily going to take him out, and that Reflect is not saving him, so that's really great because he's only going to get screens up once this turn, or once this battle. Anyways, I'm going to bring in my MVP, my Chin Chow. This guy's an absolute beast because he is a Choice Scarf set. Um, not really the MVP of the battle, as you'll see later, but... Anyways, he's going to bring in his Dino, so it's Baby versus Baby. I'm going to go for that Ice Beam because it was super effective, and I did not know... Well, I totally forgot the Light Screen was still up, so that was pretty much a fail move on my part. And he's going to almost take me out with that Crunch. I'm kind of surprised I lived it, maybe due to Min Max, because Chin Chao is absolute garbage HP and defense stats. Now, I know he's going to bring in his Noctowl. I'm going to predict that switch and go for the super effective Stone Edge. Really great play on my part because that's going to be a solid 2-hit KO despite the Reflect still being up. Now, I'm predicting him to switch into the Vaporeon because he can take the Stone Edge for days due to the Reflect and he can counter me with either a Scald or an Ice Beam. So that's why I'm going to bring in my Chin Chao to help counter that Vaporeon by going for the super effective Volt Switch. But um, he stays in, I guess banking on a Stone Edge miss, and he goes for the Feather Dance, which is no big deal because bringing in Chin Chao is pretty much a win-win situation because I deal super effective damage against this Noctowl and I deal super effective damage against his Vaporeon if he wants to switch it in. Now, I know he's probably going to go for the Roost, so this is a perfect time to bring in my Volbeat and pretty much set up all over this uh, Noctowl because I can go for the Encore. But this time, I'm going to predict him to switch out to predict my Encore to make my Encore fail. So that's why I'm going to choose to go for the Tailwind this time instead of the Encore as he just goes for the Whirlwind, which is no big deal because he's just going to bring in my Gabite. And uh, that's actually good for me because Gabite is my Stealth Rocker on this team. And Stealth Rocks is really going to help me out because he does have that Noctowl and he does have that Scyther, which will take 50%. Uh, so I am just going to go for the Body Slam. Uh, maybe he would want to switch. I'm not too sure, maybe fearing a Stone Edge or something, but uh, I do end up getting that Paralyzation, and Body Slam is probably the best move of the game, in the game, because it always gets Paralyzation uh, when I use it, and when my opponents use it against me, they get Paralyzation all the time too. It's just generally, even though it says 30%, I really think it's like 50%. But anyways, I'm finally going to set up my Stealth Rocks. That's really going to help me out because uh, anything he has with uh, Focus Sash is going to be rendered useless. And Scyther is going to be less threatening and Noctowl will lose his walling capabilities. But here, I'm going to bring in my Volbeat, predicting another non-attacking move. But um, he ends up just double switching too and he goes into a Vaporeon. Now, I don't want to stay in because I don't want to take a Scald. So the best thing to take a Scald is my parry, and this is my Licky Licky. This is my wall-breaking Licky Licky. Um, it's a pretty weird and unorthodox moveset. It carries Protect, Wish, Toxic, wait, not Protect, Toxic, Swords, Dance, and Explosion. Sorry, that's the moveset. And, um, basically, its main goal of this team is to take down this Vaporeon or his Noctowl. Now, if you read the rules in a draft battle, you do know your opponent's team. So I know that this Vaporeon is going to cause me trouble, and because he got first pick and he decided, I believe he decided to pick Vaporeon first, um, that's going to, you know, be really threatening against my team. So I needed a Pokemon to take down this Vaporeon, and I decided to make this parry just to explode and take down this Vaporeon. And um, yeah, I am, at least before exploding, I'm going to poison him just in case I explode on a Protect, and that would be really bad. So, um... Even if I just waste my uh, parry, he still will be poisoned, and that's going to make his walling capabilities rendered useless as well. 
So finally, I'm going to explode, predicting him to just attack me, but he ends up switching out and going into a Scyther, which was kind of sad because I really want to take down that Vaporeon, but on the other hand, I'm okay with this because Scyther is his most threatening sweeper on the team because with one Swords Dance up and with the Evil Light Stone, he's bulky, plus he is, um, you know, he can get up to plus six really easy, um, so that's no good, but... Because I kill him, I pretty much dodge that bullet. So he is going to bring in his Zeb Striker. I'm Choice Scarf, so I can outspeed and go for the Hydro Pump. And that does a lot of damage. Um, he did know I was Choice Scarfed, and he does carry Quick Attack on his Zeb Striker, but he just totally blanked out, which really sucks for him. And the reason why he knew I was Choice Scarfed was because his Dino was also Choice Scarfed, and because I outsped his Dino, that just meant that I am Choice Scarfed on my Chin Chow. So... I'm going to bring in my Gabite, I'm going to take that frustration and take him out with the Body Slam, so that's really awesome. He is going to bring in his Choice Scarf Dino, unfortunately he is not going to outspeed me because Dino only carries base 35 uh, speed, and um, I believe Dino runs a max of 286 speed, while max speed Gabite is 287. So I do outrun him by one speed point, take him out with an Outrage, and hit this Vaporeon with an Outrage. Too, so that's really awesome. Um, finally gonna die to a Scald, which is okay because Gabite did really well in this match. And actually my whole team, every single Pokemon, played a huge role. Now I'm gonna bring in my Volbeat. I know he's gonna go for the Wish, so I'm gonna go for the Unprotected Focus Punch! Bam! Hit him right in the face, and look at that. Wow, absolutely beautiful. After Toxic Damage, I am going to take down this Vaporeon, which is his annoyingest Pokemon on his team because he can pretty much stall me for ages. Well, not really anymore because he had Toxic on, but still. Um, here, I'm going to go for the Focus Punch predicting his Roost. He just ends up going for the Nightshade, which is fine as well. But um, I am just going to go for the Encore to lock him into that uh, Nightshade before he takes me out. And I believe this Noctowl is his last Pokemon, so um, locking him into Nightshade will pretty much ensure me the match. Um, so he's going to take me out with the Nightshade, and I am going to get taken down. But I have one more Pokemon that I haven't shown you. This is a Kadabra set, and this is a Sub-Torment set. And because he's locked into that Nightshade, he is going to be forced to struggle. So really great way to end the match with a Torment Kadabra. So, yeah, with Scythe Shock and uh, the Struggle Recoil, I will be able to take down this Noctowl. So, that will be the game. Hope you guys enjoyed this match. Um, had a really a lot of fun in this battle. Uh, a lot of great predictions on both sides. Uh, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this draft battle, please, you know, definitely try out a draft battle with one of your friends because I'll tell you the truth. This was probably one of the most funnest battles I've ever had up to date. And I'm not even lying. I'm just being totally honest. This was so fun. So definitely try out a draft battle. And in addition, if you guys enjoyed this match, feel free to uh, support me by giving me the thumbs up and uh, leaving a comment if you would like. But this is the Pikawoo. Thank you for watching my battle. And stay tuned for the comment question of the day. So peace out, guys.